How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to this new episode of Restorations with Vic. For today's restoration, we're going to be bringing back these alternate Olympic 7s back to life. The first thing we're going to do is give this shoe a good thorough deep clean using rejuvenated products. We're also going to repaint the midsole on these. We're going to recreate the splatter effect and the gradient. On this shoe right here, we have some serious separation on the toe cap area. The leather on these are pretty jacked up. On the toe box specifically, it's scuffed up and scratched pretty deep. We're going to have to sand it and repaint it. We have a lot of work ahead of us guys, so let's get started. For these shoes, we're going to be using Rejuvenator Street Brush Advanced Secret Learning System. We'll also be using our detergent and brass bristle brush to get this cleaning done perfectly. First things first, we got to remove this shoe to the side. Remove our shoelaces real quick. Okay, we got the laces out. Now we're going to want to take out our insoles so we can give that a scrubbing separately and pop in our adjustable Rejuvenator shoe tree to size. So what the shoe tree does for us is it helps us apply pressure with the brush as we're cleaning the toe box area and after the shoe dries, it removes all the creasing. So let's go ahead and grab our collapsible bowl with water, grab our four ounce bottle of solution and squirt two squirts. All right, we're all prepped, ready to go. We'll be using our stop bristle brush first. We'll use this brush to hit the entire upper so it can start breaking down all the grime. Okay, uppers are good for now. What we're gonna do now is let the suds sit on the uppers, let it break down the dirt, and take out our shoe tree so we, continue, so we can continue using the soft bristle brush and start really focusing on the insides of the shoe. All right, insides are good to go. We'll let the washing machine take care of the rest. What we're gonna do now, continue using the soft bristle brush, is attack the tongues and also attack this back piece. It's pretty dirty. All right, all done with that. Let's go ahead and move on to the next brush, which is our medium all purpose. We'll use this brush for the white uppers. On the white leather, the stitching all around is really brown. We're gonna hit it super hard so we can get it back to white. All right, so I think that's good to go with the uppers. I hit the insides, the stitching all around the white leather looks really good. Um, anything that I might've missed, the washing machine will take care of. So let's go ahead and finish off with the soles. We're gonna be using our stain bristle brush for this part. In some areas, the stains look really, really deep. If the, stuff, if the stain bristle brush doesn't take care of it, we'll move on to the brass bristle. All right guys, so one thing I'm noticing, the stiff bristle brush is not doing anything to this piece of gum on the sole. So we're gonna grab some Goo Gone, spray it on the area, let it sit for a little bit, and then grab our scissors and scrape it off. Just like magic. So let's go ahead and finish off with this sole. Overall, it's coming out really clean. This area specifically is really dirty, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump to the brass bristle brush. <sighs> All right, finally. Shoes fully pre-treated, we got the soles taken care of. Uppers are good. Let's go ahead and put the shoe inside our single laundry bag so we can put them in the washing machine. Actually, before I forget, I almost forgot the insole and our laces. For our laces, we're just gonna put them inside our bowl with the old solution. Let the dirt break down. We'll come back to that in a bit. And for the insoles, we're gonna grab our saw bristle brush, put some solution on it, and scrub it.
All right, now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and put this stuff inside with the shoe, lock it up, grab our detergent and put them in the washer. All right, time for the washing machine, guys. Whenever you're putting your shoe in the washing machine, you're gonna need our detergent. Let's go ahead and pour a full ounce. Pour it on top of the shoe. Let's close this bad boy up. Whenever you're using the washing machine, you gotta have normal cycle with cold water. That's key. All right guys, all done with the cleaning. The shoes are fully dried and clean. Let's go ahead and check them out. As you can see, the tongues back to white, no stains at all. Insides, same thing, they're good, no smell. They're fully disinfected. For the uppers, I don't see any stains at all on the blue suede. The blue suede was pretty dirty. Same thing with the white leather, the stitching is good to go. Overall, the cleaning came out really good, guys, thanks to our three brush advanced alarm system. So moving on with this restoration, we gotta take care of these toe boxes. As you can see, the owner was probably walking around like this or something, because I don't know how the heck you can get toe boxes this bad. The scratches are deep inside the toe box, but that's okay, that's what I'm here for. We'll be using 1200 grit sandpaper to smooth it down, and then we'll repaint it. All right guys, that's about as smooth as it's gonna get. I spent a good 25 to 30 minutes sanding it down. That's super smooth. It's not gonna be perfect. It's never perfect, but it's a lot better than what it was. So continuing with the prep, we're gonna be using acetone and cotton balls to continue to smooth that area. While we're at it, we're also gonna go in and remove all this old glue because we also fix the separation. If you don't remove the old glue, when we go in and apply the new glue, it's not gonna bond correctly. So this prep is very important. All right guys, all done with the prep work. This area is good to go. Now let's go ahead and fix the separation using some barge and finish cement glue. We're gonna apply a thin coat on the rubber area and the upper. Let it cure for about seven minutes and then we'll clamp it together. But before we do that, we gotta tape off the leather toe box. That way we don't get any glue on the upper. Seven minutes are up, let's clamp it. That step's good to go, guys. No glue where there shouldn't be. Alignment's on point. That step's good to go. Let's go ahead and continue with this restoration. Right now, we're gonna continue working on the toe boxes. As you can see, it's still pretty scuffed up. We already did all the prep work. We're gonna do a little bit more prep work, which is taping around it so we can airbrush the white paint onto that area. All right guys, so we're all prepped up, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and lay down our Jacquard airbrush white paint through our airbrush. All right guys, so we're all done with the front area of the shoe. Let's go ahead and jump over to the midsoles. For the midsoles, usually I use acetone and cotton balls to strip the paint. For this shoe, 
as I was looking at it, the paint doesn't really crack on it. It more or so fades, so that's a good thing. So what I'm gonna do, using some 1200 grit sandpaper, is hit the entire midsole, sand it down, hit any rough areas if there's any, and that should be more than enough prep before I lay down the paint. All right, so we're all done with the sanding. From the looks of it, it may not look like anything's been done to the midsole, but it has. I sanded the whole entire thing. Everything's super smooth. Got rid of the finish. It's ready for a paint job. So before we can do that, we gotta do some taping. All right guys, we're all taped up. Let's lay down the first color, which is our Jacquard white paint that I used earlier on the toe box. All right guys, we got the white nicely laid down. Go ahead and check that out. Got all the scuffs covered up, nice and smooth all around, nice and even. It was honestly a lot faster than a paintbrush. Definitely gonna be using my airbrush for more mental repaints in the future. So now what we gotta do is tape off the white so we can lay down the red and recreate the gradient. All right guys, all taped up once again. Let's go ahead and lay down our paint. For this color mixture, I used 90% opaque red with 10% fire red. That was it, really simple. Let's go ahead and lay that down. All right guys, we got the red laid down. We got the tape off as well. We got some really crispy lines. Overall, I'm pretty pleased on how it came out. Super smooth all around. The gradient as well, it's on point. Looks good. Now, we're still not done with this midsole. We gotta recreate the splatter effect. For that part, we'll be using a toothbrush and the exact same paint we use for the midsole. Before we can do that, we gotta do some more taping. All right guys, all done with the mental repaint. The splatter effect and grading came out so clean. Same thing with the red, the color match was on point and we got some really crispy lines all around. Before we spray the matte finish and wrap up this video, we gotta do one more detail. With the gold Sharpie, we're gonna touch up this gold jump man. All right, we got that jump man nice and crispy. Let's wrap it up and spray with some Krylon matte finish. All right guys, that's gonna be it on this full restoration on these Austrian Olympic 7s from 2016. This shoe was super beat up. Let's go ahead and talk about how I made this restoration happen. The first thing I did was use our three brush advanced signal laundry system with the help of our brass bristle brush and detergent. Once the pre-treatment was done, we put them inside the single laundry bag, put them in the washing machine, and a little bit of detergent, and got the deep clean complete. Once the first part of the restoration was complete, guys, we moved on to fixing the separation that was in the toe cap area, came out nice and clean. Then we sanded down the toe box, so there was some really deep scratches in that area. 
then we repainted it. Once that was all done, we moved on to my favorite part of this whole restoration, which is the midsole repaint. The repaint came out so crisp, the color match was on point, sharp lines all around, the splatter effect is perfect, and the gradient, factory. This whole restoration was on point, guys. You can find all the stuff you see right here at reshumanier.com. Use my promo code in the description below. This is Vic Almighty. I'll see you guys next Monday.